This course is unique because it is not marine biology. It is marine biology with biodiversity and conservation. Marine biology students are generally very specialist, but our students come out with conservation and biodiversity skills, which imply more numeracy, more technical skills that the students will find useful for, should they wish to go there, future study as masters and doctorates, and also employers find more useful. I would hope that a student would take a wide variety of skills from this course. Most important, how to identify animals and plants, how to collect information, and then how to use those skills. As far as employers are concerned, those skills involve handling very, very complex data, which any employer would find useful. The thing I enjoy most about my course is that you get to interact with a lot of different students on different degree pathways and so you get to go on a lot of different field trips. Students can undertake a wide variety of field trips to Anglia. These include uh, day-long field trips around Cambridge. We also have two UK residential field courses, one to North Devon in the second year and a specialist one in third year where we take over a marine research station off the coast of Scotland but also very popular, a lot of our students decide to take our specialist diving options where they learn to do a marine survey techniques in the Red Sea. All our students have to undertake a dissertation in their third year. A lot of them work at Anglia Ruskin, but some also work in partnership with all other organisations around Cambridge, such as the British Antarctic Survey and the World Wildlife Fund. The course is recognised by the Society of Biology. So that means then that we have a, a core structure which the Society of Biology regards as important for biologists out in the world of work. Quite a lot of our students then use that and go on to be members of the Society of Biology uh, for their future careers, which can be quite important things like teaching and other jobs related to biology. The world is a very fragile place. We know that climate is changing, which may or may not be the result of human interaction. We need to know more about this. Some of our students go out there to find out for themselves small pieces of information about that, what the changes are, and we hope some of them will go on to actually teach the next generation of biologists what those problems are and inspire them to carry them out.